a very pretty tablescape made using a cross frame from the dollar store that I took off the short sides of it and some green garland that I then twist tied onto the base. The reason of doing this is because I wanted my piece to be completely removable from the table in a very easy manner. So as you see me, we are starting to pile up all the goodies that we are going to use. And this is really entirely up to you what type of greenery and floral you want to use. And as we go along, I will explain my whole entire thinking process. So I chose to use some very pretty pink ficus because I also have some other greenery that has a little bit of green and a little bit of pink. So I wanted to use both of them. I'm starting with this bush of something that I had <laughs> in my stash for a long time. Now it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't really show very well on camera, but these pretty leaves have a very soft lavender vein going through it. So once we start putting all the colors together, it really pulls out the lighter color of this um, particular greenery. Now, I used two and a half of the evergreen garlands because I wanted my base to be really fluffy and really, really full. Like I said before, I used two frames from the dollar store, cross frames, that I cut off the shorter ends and I zip tied the two of them together. And then I just simply twisted my pine branches onto the frame. And if you know me, you know that I always wear a cute little apron and no matter what I'm cooking, I will always wear my jewelry. So, of course, one of the bunnies had to match me. Well, after all, <laughs> it is my kitchen. <laughs> so I wanted to just add a little touch of fun. And on the other side, I put another bunny. Um, now, these two bunnies is the only thing that I will not glue down. Um, and you will see that throughout the whole process... Everything is glued, everything is totally removable, and that's because this is my kitchen table, and we use it every night. Uh, we sit and have dinner together every night, no matter what's going on in everyone's lives. Um, we do sit and eat together, and I do love my tablecloths. Call me old-fashioned, but I grew up with a tablecloth on my table, and that's the way it's going to be. So I wanted this piece to be easily removable from my table for when I have to change my tablecloth. If I wanted to, I could totally glue my bunnies down, um, but there is no need to because as I was building the piece, and you'll see me later on, and I keep lifting to move it, the bunnies are staying in place because I am nesting them in the evergreen base. So I started with my tall bushes, then I went in with some green ficus, and then we are going in with this, I believe it's pronounced caladium leaves, and it's something that we love outdoor all summer long, so I just wanted to add it because it has just gorgeous touches of pink and different greeneries. Now, everything you see me add, you don't, I don't know if you can see it on the side of the camera, but I am using my glue gun and I am gluing all my greeneries in. And I will, now that I'm adding my 60919, I am also gluing that as well. I chose to go in with a white 60919 and stay with just white flowers because my color will be introduced later on by a touch of Easter sum sum that we're going to put in there. And I wanted to leave myself the option of decorating it after Easter, right, for spring and summer. So I just went with a white and pink base, leaving myself the option to add whatever other embellishments instead of the bunnies I will want to use. 
as I go in and I glue in my 60919. I am making sure that we are mixing in all the parts of that little branch with everything else we already have in our uh, tablescape base. And again, if this was for my dining room, then maybe I wouldn't glue every single piece in because we don't really use my dining room. So once I set it with a pretty tablecloth, it stays pretty. But this is my kitchen and we use it every day. So I just continue to go around with the 60919 just like I did with the pink ficus. making sure that we are adding it in all the different spots. And you see me, I keep going around and there we go. You see how easily it was for me to lift it. And that's exactly what I wanted to accomplish with my um, tablescape design. So I'm showing you the difference between these two eggs because we have the big one that we can purchase from Michaels and or Walmart, but we also have the smaller ones that we can purchase at the Dollar Tree. And I went with the smaller ones because I didn't want those eggs to overpower my design. Now I'm going in and see what I meant before. I'm adding a little sum sum of an Easter color with these very bright, beautiful, colorful Easter eggs. Now, this is the only element that I am not gluing in. All I'm doing is I am tying a um, evergreen branch, wrapping around it. I'm wrapping it around it so that my eggs stay in place. And again, you'll see me throughout the video lifting my piece, and you'll see with it's so easy to move it and that's exactly what i wanted and again we're going all around with a touch of color and you see how those bright eggs just made it all colorful together with all the pink leaves and the white flowers. Look how pretty it looks. And now if you didn't have a reason to move, maybe you're using it on a table with no tablecloth, which is fine, then you can go ahead and add more pieces to it, more things to it, because you don't have to really move it around. But see how easy it is for me to lift the entire piece. And then we tried. My audience and I decided, well, let's try. But no, we didn't like, we did not like the green ivy. The leaves were too big and overpowering. So I decided to go in with a little bit of boxwood, another touch of greenery here and there. And again, I am gluing all the little pieces that I know I will keep for the entire spring and summer season. So you can remove those and now look how pretty it looks from a close up, all colorful with the white and the pinks and all the pretty colors. I really hope you enjoyed this and make sure you come back because we are going to decorate my fireplace mantle to match this. We already did part of my fireplace, but we're going to do the rest. Come on over and check it out.